Google AdSense is a service that you're going to use if you want to monetize your YouTube channel or place ads on your website to earn revenue. If you haven't already, I highly recommend you check out my video on how to get approved and how to apply to Google AdSense, where you'll find step-by-step -step demonstrations on both of these topics. In this guide, I'm going to walk you through what ads are available to you and how to place them on your website. I'm only going to show you the important aspects of the process, but if at any time you want more details for a specific feature, I'll leave a link to my article in the description below under the like and subscribe button. There you'll find more details about the things that we'll be talking about today. But before we dive into putting ads on your site, I want to explain the type of ads that are available to you because, you know, you kind of have to understand what the ads are and how to make them so you know where to put them, right? So let's start off by going over to the AdSense account. And here you can see the dashboard which shows the summary of earnings and some performance details about the account. And obviously if you want more information then just need to click on each one of these to get a closer look, which we'll cover in my analytics video. But for now, we're going to want to head on over to the ad section down here. You'll see three different tabs in this section. We have ads by site, by ad unit, and global settings. So the first tab is essentially auto ads. If you enable this, then Google will automatically place ads on your site where it thinks is the best place to put them. And if you look down a little bit, you can see any sites that you have registered with Google AdSense. And if you haven't connected a website to AdSense yet, then I'll leave my guide in the description below, which is also under the like and subscribe button alongside with all the other guides I mentioned earlier. Anyway, auto ads is off by default when you first start. But uh, all you need to do to enable this is to click on the edit button next to your verified website name and it's going to take you over to the preview page where it's going to generate a preview of your actual site. So to turn on auto ads, you just need to go over to the site settings over here and click on this button to enable it. Once you turn on auto ads, more options will appear for you to adjust your ad settings. But before that, notice how the preview of your site changes to include where Google might place their ads on your site. And you can go through the mobile and desktop views to see what the ads might look like. Also take a look at their URL bar right here. Before I set auto ads off, but since you turned it on, it now displays the amount of ads that were displayed on your site. And you can see the amount of ads can differ between mobile devices and desktops. And if you want to increase or decrease the amount of ads, then just head on over to the ad load section down here. And you can see a slider bar and you can move it in either direction for more or less ads on your page. You can see the ads counter in the URLs change as you're making the adjustments. Here's the thing, guys. Just be careful on how many ads you put on your page. You don't want to overwhelm your visitors with ads when they first visit. This could lead to a really bad experience for them and they just might think your site is just all spam. And they may not want to come back. So be mindful of that. I recommend you start off at the default and then test it out for about a month or so. And then go back, check your analytics, and then you can adjust the amounts accordingly. And you can browse around the settings to see what tickles your fancy. But uh, when you're done, all you gotta do is click on the apply to site button. And a pop-up will appear and you have two options. You can apply the auto ads now or you can run an experiment. If you choose to run an experiment, then it's going to test your new settings on a limited number of visitors. And if it hasn't changed yet, I believe it's 50% of your site's traffic for 90 days or until it collects enough information for the experiment, whichever comes first. And you can run multiple experiments at once, but uh, for now, we're going to go and hit the save to apply auto ads and you should be all set. And if you want more details, then you know where to go. And it may take a few hours for ads to actually show up on your site. But uh, you may see some ad placeholders like in the preview on your site with some generic ads in them. So I have auto ads on my site right now. So let me give you an idea of what it can look like with these kind of default settings. And as you can see, it doesn't really look like the ad preview, does it? But it's pretty close, I would say. It just depends on what ads Google has available and the quality of my site which uh, my site is a fairly new site, so I may not get the limited ads that are reserved for the higher traffic sites. I mean, at least that's what I speculate, but then again, I, I do digress. But the preview is just an estimate of the ads that could be placed on your site, so your experience with it may vary. The ads that you see on my site right now are all from auto ads, so it gives you an idea of what it could look like for your site. And if auto ads is all you're looking for, then you're pretty much done. But if you want more options to make better ads and ad placements, then keep watching. All right, so let's head on over to the Buy Ad Unit tab. This section allows you to create and customize ads to put in your site. And I like to call it manual ads opposed to the all ads that we just talked about. And it's exactly that. You manually create ads and you manually place the ads directly onto your site, wherever it is that you want it. 
Manually placing ads gives you absolute control over where the ads are placed and it could lead to a better experience for you and your visitors. The best way to show you guys is by example. So I'm going to demonstrate how to create an ad first and then I'll show you guys what each ad is used for and where to place them. And we'll just start with the display ads which is the recommended ad from Google and it's the one most used if you enable auto ads. So let's click on the display ad icon here and you can see what the preview of the ad will look like and you can choose from three different sizes a square, a horizontal ad, or a vertical ad. If we go over to the side over here you can change the ad size to responsive or fixed. When you choose fixed you can change the actual dimensions of the ads to exactly what you want. For instance if I have a very limited amount of space on my site and I need an exact size otherwise it will look really weird or it might break the layout of my site then I would use this but bear in mind that if you go with the fixed route you will get less ads because Google has to find an exact ad size to fit your ad dimension. On the other hand if you chose the ad to be responsive then this will allow Google to make adjustments to the space on your site and place ads that will adapt to your website's layout. By leaving the ad to be responsive it will give Google a higher chance to find an ad to place on your site more frequently which increases your revenue. So I tend to leave the ad as responsive unless a fixed size is needed. And sometimes it doesn't do a great job like maybe there's just too much white space around the ad or the ad just doesn't fit the area well. But for the most part it does a fine job. Anyway I'll just make a horizontal one for now and then I'll need to create a name for my ad and I'll call it, I don't know, I'll, uh, Responsive Horizon or something like that and I'll press the create button down here. Your ad will then be automatically created and a code generator will pop up here and you would need to copy this code into the HTML of your site and if you're running AMP then you need to copy the code into its respective tags. But we'll hit done for now and it should take us back to the add unit tab. You can see the ad that you just created down in the section below right here. And you can make adjustments to your ad by clicking the edit button here or you can get the code for it by clicking the code button right next to that. The nice thing about creating your ad like this is that you can use the same ad for multiple places on your website or even use it on another website that you own. I think it's pretty convenient. And creating each one of these other types of ads are pretty much done the exact same way except you have some different options like maybe colors and text placements. But uh, let me explain the difference between each one of these types of ads and what they're used for and where to place them. I went ahead and created some test ads to demonstrate for you guys. So I'm just going to pull my website up and put it side by side with AdSense right here. Alright so if we take a look at my site here and the very first ad on my homepage is the display ad that we just created. Display ads are very versatile and you can literally put it anywhere in your site. Well, at least within the reason. Like I wouldn't put a horizontal ad on my sidebar here. I would use a square or a vertical ad instead. And then we have the in-feed ads. These are meant for your listing pages or your post grid. So if we head over to my articles page, you can see that it tries to match my post grid layout. But unfortunately, it's not perfect. And it's kind of limited to what you can do with it, but uh, if I wanted to, I could make my post grid look similar to an ad. But uh, it's not that important for me, and I'm not going to adjust my whole website just for one ad. And we also have an in-article ad that are meant to be placed inside your articles or inside your posts. So if we take a look at one of my articles here. It's going to look kind of like this. And I tried to create an ad that looks as similar to my theme as possible, but that's the best I could do. It doesn't look bad, but it definitely doesn't look native. And the last one is search engine ads. And this is pretty cool. It allows you to put a search bar directly onto your site. And if a visitor uses that search bar, then they'll see ads that are registered to you in their searches. So if I decide to use, I don't know, I'll search for YouTube or something. Notice how these search results are expanded directly onto your page. This way the user never actually has to leave if they need to search for something. And if you scroll down a bit, you can see at the very bottom that you're able to go through different pages of the results, just like if you were if you were doing it on Google itself. And if you're done, then all you need to do is go back up to the search bar and then click on the X there and your page goes right back to normal. And I think this is a very cool feature for certain use cases. And just a note, there is no restrictions on which ad type you can use to place on your website. 
For instance, you can easily use a display ad inside one of your articles, or you can use an in-article ad on your homepage. These are kind of just like guidelines that can give you a good idea of where you should use these ads, but in the end, it's up to you on which ad you use and where to use it. But while we're here, we might as well talk about the last tab, which is the global settings. And I didn't get a chance to use this feature much since I only have one website added to this account. But this is where you can adjust the ad size and type of all your registered websites directly from here. And it'll make the changes to all the websites that the ad is on. This is a really nice and convenient feature to have if you have multiple sites running the same ad. And I don't know if you realize this by now, but I am using auto ads and manually inserting ads on my site at the same time. So you can see that it's totally possible to use both on the same website. Just be careful because sometimes when you manually add too many ads on a page, like, I don't know, in an article, and then auto ads puts even more ads on top of that on the same page, it's going to look like a page full of ads instead of actual content. Here's my suggestion if you want to do that. Any page that you want to manually add ads to, then turn off auto ads only for that specific page. And you can do this by going back over to your auto ad site settings and then clicking on the edit icon next to your website's name. Then uh, click the manage link next to the page exclusion section and then put the URL of your page that you plan on placing manual ads on. By doing this, you eliminate the risk of having too many ads on one page. But if you have to use both on one page, then I suggest you limit the amount of auto ads that you use by adjusting that little slider bar that we did earlier and or limiting the manual ads that you place on the page. Or you can even do both to limit the risk. Once again, this is only if you're using auto ads and manual ads on the same page. But then again, it's just a suggestion. It is your website, so you can do whatever it is that you want. All right, so this is what you guys are probably waiting for. And let me show you how to manually put ads on the website using the ad that we created. So let's go ahead and head over to our ad unit tab. And we'll just click on the get code icon next to the ad that we created. But uh, you can use whichever ad that you have or whichever one that you want. And I just need to select the entire section of the script and copy it. Or you can just click on the copy button here. They'll copy it to your clipboard. And there are many ways you can insert the ad code into your website. If you have access to the HTML, then you can just copy the code and insert it into your HTML editor. But uh, all you have to do is insert it in between the correct tags or location like the script instructed when you first generated that code for the ad. If you're using WordPress like I am, you have three popular options here. The first option is relatively straightforward. If you're trying to insert the ad unit into the article or post, Let's head back over to our WordPress and we'll edit the posts that you want to insert the ad. We are using the block editor here, but uh, if you're using the classic editor, then it's a little bit different, but the concept is basically the same. So I'm going to hover over the section that I want to insert my ad and I'll click on the little plus symbol here to add a new block. What we're looking for here is the HTML block. If you don't see it, you can click on the browse all button at the bottom to browse through all the blocks or you can just search for it in the search bar here. And we'll just type in HTML. And you can see that it comes up right away and we'll select it. It's gonna insert the block to where we want it. And then you can paste the code that we just copied directly in here. You can select the preview button here to see what the ad may look like. But uh, in my experience, the ad rarely looks like the WordPress preview. But uh, now all you have to do is update your post and you're done. And this works exactly the same way on any web page as it does with posts. So just follow these same steps if you want to place the ad on a specific page instead of a post. If you're using a web builder like Elementor, then you want to go over to the page or post that you want to insert the ad using Elementor's editor. And then you want to go over to the Elements tab and search for HTML. And you want to click and drag the HTML element over to the workspace over here. Once you drop it, you'll see the section to paste your ad code. And when you're done pasting the code, then just update the changes. The second option to insert an ad unit into your WordPress is by using widgets. However, this only works if your theme has the widgets that you're looking for. So let's go over to our appearance section and then select widgets. And if the widget that you're looking for is there, like let's say I have a sidebar widget right here then all I have to do is add a custom HTML widget into the widget area of the sidebar. 
and then paste the add code here. Click save and you're done. If any of the changes that you made doesn't take effect, then you just might need to clear your cache. So try clearing it out first and then refresh your page. And the third option to insert a ad unit into your WordPress is by using plugins. And I'm not going to demonstrate uh, each and every single one of the plugins here, uh, but it's relatively simple and the concept is pretty much the same. You install a plugin, follow the instructions to link your AdSense account to the plugin, and then use the plugins to place the ads directly on the pages that you want. I will be doing tutorials on some of the plugins, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know when that video gets released. And if you haven't applied to Google AdSense yet, then do me a favor and watch my Google AdSense tutorial series where I walk you through step by step from how to get approved to how to apply. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer them. Once again, if you want more information, then check out my article which I'll leave in the description below. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, I really would appreciate if you hit the like button on the video and share it with a friend who might be interested. And if you want more content like this, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Your support really helps the channel grow. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.